What's up everybody? I just got my septic tank pumped. I had to dig and expose the uh, concrete lid cover. I don't want to bury them again. Here's a pictures of the septic tank similar to mine. I want to put visor on both sides like in the picture. I have checked at the local hardware store. It costs about seven to eight hundred dollars for two sets of risers covers. Today I want to build them on a budget. I found these online for about two hundred dollars for two sets. These are six inch risers. These are not quite tall enough, but I have figured out a way to get them done. Let's see how well this riser will fit. I will mark it with spray paint so I know where it needs to be placed later. It doesn't quite cover the four corners. This is an old plastic barrel I use for my koi pond. I have measured the opening. This plastic barrel is perfect for what I'm going to do next. This will be the uh, inner wall when I pour concrete to raise it to the uh, proper height. And I'll embed the uh, riser in concrete. I need a total height of about 14 inches. I went ahead and cut a bunch of slits and drill holes so I can bend these flaps outward. Cutting a piece of cardboard the same size as the septic tank opening. Now I know how much to trim back on the flaps.
Now let's place this on the septic tank opening and see how everything lines up. It looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, concrete lid. It's super heavy. You should have another person helping you. Do be careful. Let's tape up the uh, flaps so concrete won't fall into the septic tank. Put concrete evenly on four corners so the plastic piece won't shift. Go ahead and pack the concrete down. Continue to fill the concrete to the top. I put some galvanized nails through these holes. and bend them at a 90 degree angle. These will be embedded in concrete and the nails will act as anchors once the concrete dried up. and check, make sure the uh, riser is level. Continue fill more concrete so your, your riser will be nice and sturdy.
Now we wait for our, the concrete to dry. The next day, the concrete is dry enough for me to put the uh, cover back on. This cover is held together by some screws and it has the seals on the bottom of the cover. This prevents gas from leaking out. Now the cover is back on. Let's go and fill the dirt back in. I have clay dirt and rocks. When it's wet, it's very hard to work with. It stick to everything. I find it is easier to put a piece of cardboard on top of the wet dirt, then pack it down. Putting sand on top of the wet dirt helps a lot. There you have it, all put back together, nice and neat. One done and one more to go. So if you find this video helpful, go ahead and click the like and please subscribe.